Doors is one of the greatest games on the Roblox site, and the upcoming Floor 2 is coming quickly. But there are some major issues that I think the devs should address or even fix before they release the next Floor 2 update. And here they are. The first problem I'd like to discuss is something that I believe that has been an issue since the day one of Doors, and the problem lies within the gameplay of the entities. The main gameplay loop of Doors involves dealing with a large pool of different entities who could attack the player at any given time forcing the player to always be ready to either hide from Rush, look at Screech, run from Seek, and the list goes on with all sorts of engaging gameplay mechanics you'll face with each entity. However, when we look at Holt for example, it's completely different. Myself and many other door players are left extremely disappointed. Holt's gameplay is the least engaging, but at the same time, the most intrusive entity of them all. If you break down Holt's gameplay, it's very simple. You hold the forward button to go forward, then you hold back to go backwards. It's basically red light, green light, just a little creepier, and this whole little mini game can take up to two minutes. And that can get very stale very quickly. There is an extremely large group of players who, when they get Holt, they just quit the game. I'm talking about the speedrunners here. Because there's no way to do this efficiently or effectively, it's basically guaranteeing you you have like a little timeout. You have to do this little mini game, and a lot of people just don't find it fun or engaging or just immensely satisfying. And I'm one of those players. And if you're a speedrunner like myself who's playing over and over and over, a halt can destroy a completely good run and just ruin the game in general. Don't get me wrong, the developers did some very good things with Hulk. First off, they did a phenomenal job of making Hulk absolutely creepy. I would honestly consider him to be the top contender for one of the scariest entities in the entire game. However, that doesn't change that I'm always left bored after Halt. But I believe I found one simple change that can completely overhaul Halt to make him a lot better for us and the community, and maybe even turn him into a new fan favorite. I would just scrap the current gameplay and replace it with something more akin to 3D Pac-Man. So just bear with me for a second, let me explain. So take a moment and picture this, alright? You, the player, having to navigate through a randomly generated maze as Halt prowls, searching for you. Audio would be key for the situation. This would create a much more terrifying encounter, and I believe most people would have more fun facing Halt in this revamp scenario. But is this even an issue? Let me know down in the comments how you feel about Halt. Do you like him? Do you not like him? I'm curious. Have you played Arsenal? It was one of the largest Roblox FPS games on the site, but it had one major issue that left the community questioning the devs' intentions. Every time a brand new event was updated and released, it would add a new game mode, maps, and even some new weapons. But after the event was over, the team would just take away all the stuff they worked on. The maps would be gone, the new weapons would be gone, and even the fun new game modes would just be completely gone, and everyone would just be left with all the old stuff, bringing the game back to where it was before the event, which made the game feel like it was never getting updates when there was no event going on, which left most of the Arsenal community losing complete faith in the development team, and weirdly enough, we're starting to see the beginning of this within Doors. Last year's April Fools, Splash added a new alternate mode to Doors called Super Hard Mode, which tasked the player to get to room 100 just like in the original, but with a large variety of new challenges to worry about. There were banana peels scattered around the floor that would make the player trip if they walked over, Seek was now faster due to him having a literal car, Figure was reskinned as a Roblox noob and extremely fast, and then you had Jeff the Killer, and for those who don't know, Jeff the Killer was an extremely popular creepypasta back in 2012, and they had him in the game chasing you between room to room, and he was probably the scariest thing in this entire update, I won't lie, he scared the bejesus out of me. He was probably the hardest thing in this whole thing, but it was extremely fun playing against him. And so a lot of players, including myself, found this mode to be such a breath of fresh air, as many of the veteran players found the original game becoming extremely easy and less rewarding to keep playing. But when April was coming to an end, a a lot of players were scared that this mode was going to get removed, because so many people enjoyed it. We don't want it to go away. But luckily, after April Fools ended, you could still play super hard mode within a private server. And then it was transferred to be a playable modifier when the modifier update came out. But then one day, that completely changed. For some reason, they removed super hard mode from the modifier menu. And I'm honestly very confused. It wasn't like people disliked the mode. Myself and many other members of the community absolutely loved to play together for a quick laugh. And the only theory I can think of is that they deemed it was useless because anyone can make the game harder through the new modifiers. But sadly, no matter what modifier you use, no matter what you do, you can no longer bring Jeff the Killer back into your game of doors. This is some advice to go out to every single dev in every single industry. If you make something cool for your game, just don't remove it. Don't waste your time, your effort, your blood, your sweat, and the product you made that was awesome. If people like it, just don't remove it. More can always be better, you know? Come on guys, stop.
buying knobs, buying revives, Roblox premium player payouts, and selling plushies. The Doors team have made a tremendous amount of money, which is amazing! You guys deserve every single dime you've made. And to be honest, you guys should have made more on top of that. But Roblox's malicious ways on how they treat their devs is for another video. To the point though, with all that money you made, could it just like a little smudge of that went into hiring new staff? Everyone knows your small team blew everyone away and helped Roblox get mainstream attention from the biggest creators who don't even regularly play Roblox. But it's been so long since we've gotten new content. Don't get me wrong, I know nothing great comes fast, and I'm willing to wait. But it could come a lot faster if you allow people to help you along the way. So devs, where's floor 2? Come on. Make sure you guys like the video and watch this video next where I rank every single Seek Chase clone I could find. The third one is gonna shock you, trust me.